Welcome back to Hamilton Live. I'm thrilled my next guest is a singer, songwriter, and performer from right here in Stony Creek, Ontario. Her love and desire to create music came from listening to rock legends like Freddie Mercury, Brian Adams, and Amanda Marshall while she was growing up. Nancy Hope, welcome to, Kate, to uh, Hamilton Live. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm oh, excited to be here. I w worked in radio for many, many, many years, and I've played, of course, all of those uh, great artists. And yes. uh, Amanda Marshall we haven't heard from in a long time, but I totally am getting a vi an Amanda Marshall <laughs> vibe from you. A little bit of the hair, maybe give it away. But yes. <laughs> and how yes. does that come through in your performances? Not just the hair. How else do we see Brian Adams or Freddie Mercury or Amanda Marshall come through? Absolutely. Well, for me, not only performing, but in the lyrics that I write in my music. So like those artists, that's kind of why I gravitated to them at such a young age, because they had music that was inspiring, it was timeless, and it kind of made you feel like you could take on the world. So I definitely write songs that are kind of like a stadium anthem slash, I would say like a heartbreak ballad, I kind of call them. And I really just bring that energy when I perform, but it's really in the music I write that has resonated with me, that music, and now into my own. Well, we're going to get a taste of that in a minute. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> that energy you talk about, hard to create in a studio setting like this, but right. when you're in front of a crowd, yes. do you feed off of it? A hundred percent. And that's probably my favorite thing about performing is the audience because you get to feed off of each other and you're there to connect with them, right? And that's my job as a performer and really just as a person. Yeah. I love, I love your description of your songs as, as anthem-like. Yes. that gets the crowd going, right? A hundred percent. How old were you when you started writing? I would say as early as like eight years old. What? Yeah, it was funny. I would write jingles to, honestly, in classes, like when they would ask me for, you know, let's do a project. I'd say, let's write a jingle for a creative thing. So it was kind of always in my bones. So I would say as early as eight. Yeah. Are you part of the YouTube generation? Are you are you um, old enough that you were there for the beginnings of that when people started like um, like Justin Bieber started getting famous from a YouTube video? Yes. So I remember doing YouTube videos in my room, just a cappella, like Lady Gaga songs, all the top forty, some Pink songs. It was really cool to start like that and see how far we've come, also as artists. I've heard it said, though, that there's nothing, you, you just can't replace getting in front of people. 100%. Getting in front of actual human beings yes. and performing as often as you can is the key. Absolutely. And it just makes my job and what I do even more meaningful, right? Because, of course, you're, you're playing to a screen. It's hard, right, to connect. You still want to connect with people, but when it's that one-on-one -on -one connection, it just takes it to another level. It really does. Yeah. And then, uh, as we were saying before, it's that ex energy exchange. You're yes. putting it out, yeah. they're loving it, yeah. and they're giving it right <laughs> back to you, and it, it's, it's almost, it's thrilling, isn't it? It is. It, it really is. So you're already writing mm -hmm. uh, at eight years old. Had you picked up the guitar by then? Actually, I picked up the guitar later. So I started with piano when I was about five years old. My parents got me into lessons. It's a great place to start. Yes, right, kind of get a feel for music if you like it. But it's funny, I didn't really stick with it. I just, I wanted to do so many other things. I played sports too, so I wasn't as dedicated when I was younger, but then I revisited it and I started guitar when I was actually 16. Yeah. You play, I heard you practicing, play like you've been playing yeah. forever. <laughs> when did you know, okay, I, this is what I have to do in my life. There's mm. just no question about it. When did you know that? I would say, as crazy as it sounds, I knew it at a young age that it was like an inner knowing to know that this is all I meant to do in my life. It was a feeling that I felt so alive performing and I had a voice even at a young age. But I would say like professionally, I want to do this. I was about 16 years old performing in high school on stage singing a Pink song, I remember. And I thought... That's a challenging song. Oh yeah, the song Perfect by Pink, if wow. you've heard that one. Yeah, that was um, a great memory of mine. And I remember being on stage and saying, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Did you get any... Um flack from family members or friends? I mean, that that's always going to happen. Like friends, you know, people you meet along the way, you get, they say the naysayers or the doubters, right? You know, get a real job or do something, you know, conventional. But I have to say I was very blessed to have my core family that's been so supportive of me. Good. And my grandparents, and they've been huge supporters, and I really inherited a lot of my music genes from them on my mom's side of the family. 
So your song, that are we going to hear that song today? I, which one are we hearing? I don't know. You've got a song <laughs> coming out in June. So I have one coming out, uh, which is probably one of the most vulnerable songs I've written, which I'm very excited about. I wrote it back in 2021 with uh, Kayla Diamond. She's a Toronto producer and uh, songwriter. And I also released a song in uh, October 2023 called One in a Trillion. Oh. Yeah, so that's an anthem, and then we have a ballad. So, <laughs> Which one are we going to hear today? I might do the anthem today. Oh, you still haven't yeah. decided. I love that. <laughs> okay. Keep on guessing. The anthem. I can't wait. Yes. So, um, hey, if you're ready to go, can yeah. we just go over there and hear you right now? Let's do it. Oh, I would love it. Nancy yeah. Hope, come Let's on. Let's do it. <laughs> We've got you all set up. All right. All right, take it away. The okay. stage is yours. <laughs> me thought that your approval's what I need but when I look into the mirror strength is staring back at me now I'm finally liking what I see told me I was wrong when I was right put me in a box but it's too tight if I'm breaking then I'm building and I won't apologize I won't Cause I don't need saving now. Yeah, you try to take me down. Yeah, go on and hate me, but I'm out. So I won't let you win this round. I stand my ground. Cause I, I am resilient. And I, I'm nothing but brilliant. Cause I 